Washington Free Beacon reported the following about New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio regarding an interview he did with New York Magazine on September 5, 2017. I'll have all the links below for you to follow along. In 2013, you ran on reducing income inequality, or has it been the hardest to make progress? Wages, housing, schools? What's been the hardest is the way our legal system is structured to favor private property, de Blasio responded. Oh, oh yes, Billy de Blowhard, please, tell us what you really think. Democratic mayor continued to say that if he had had his way, the government would decide which building goes where, how high it will be, who gets to live in it, and what the rent will be. <laughs> I love this. The out-and-out -out rank arrogance of this guy. Everything would be perfect. We could have puppies and rainbows and unicorns and nice fluffy bunnies and hugs for everyone. If only I could be a dictator. But those darn mean old fuddy-duddies clinging to their, their property are getting in my way, and that makes me sad. I think there's a socialistic impulse, which I hear every day, in every kind of community, that they would like things to be planned in accordance with their needs. I remember during the 2016 presidential Republican primary debates, Ted Cruz criticized Donald Trump for New York values. Are these socialistic impulses what Cruz was talking about? Or is the blowout living in a socialist delusion where he imagines people are clamoring for a dictator? I'll let you decide. Unfortunately, what stands in the way of that is hundreds of years of history that have elevated property rights and wealth to the point that that's the reality that calls the tune on a lot of development. I know what DeBozo is thinking. You see, the problem with New York City? Nothing to do with failing government schools or the nanny state, the overwhelming homelessness, or the tax and regulatory state that stifles commerce. Nope. If it weren't for those pesky private property rights, I could finally achieve my dream of becoming a totalitarian dictator. I mean, helping the little people. Yeah, definitely. Helping the little people. The people of New York, he said, would love to have a very, very powerful government, including a federal government, involved in directly addressing their day-to-day -day reality. Said every tin pot totalitarian dictator ever. Come on, Mayor Honeymoon in Cuba. You're a wannabe dictator. You're not fooling anyone. <laughs>